Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the DJI Dual Enterprise. What it is, what it isn't, is it for you, and why I think the world is a better place because this is in it. Guys, I can't even imagine any fire department in the world, even if it's a volunteer fire department, not having this drone. Uh, it can do some amazing, amazing things. So let's, ha let's talk about why it's named the Dual Enterprise. Well, it's got two cameras on it. It's got an RGB camera that is a really nice camera for flying around just like a, the other Mavericks. Now it's not a Maverick 2 Pro, it doesn't shoot in 4K, and it's not the Maverick 2 Zoom because it doesn't have a real zoom. It will zoom in, but it's just pulling the picture out and it'll get granulated. But it's a really nice camera. Uh, to get you where you're going, maybe do pipeline inspection, things like that, along with the thermal imaging camera uh, with MSX te technology. Let's talk about uh, thermal imaging. Thermal imaging is kind of like uh, the difference between, you know, there's different ones like you say, you know, 2.7K, 1080, 4K. Well, there's differences in thermal imaging also. So this one is a 160 by 120, which will still get the job done in a lot of cases, but there's a lot better drones out there with thermal imaging. Uh, you have the Zesmus XT cam, uh, camera that shoots in 640 times 512 in resolution for the thermal imaging. But guys, that camera is $15,000. Right now they're selling them for about half price because the new advance is coming out. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But you gotta have a Matrice 210 to get it up in the air. It won't even fly with one of these Inspires. Um, the Matrice 210 starts about 15 grand. By the time you have battery packs and cases and everything, and the, Zesmus XT640, uh, you're probably gotten $30,000, $35,000 in that machine. Uh, they do have the 336 by 256 It's a little bit less expensive. But um, also, that drone takes a long time to get in the air. By the time you get there and get it unpacked, get the props on, the camera attached, and everything, you're probably talking, I can't imagine any faster than 15 minutes where you can have this bird in the air in under a minute. Um, I couldn't imagine uh, not getting the smart controller along with it. So right now this one's about $3,350. A new advanced one coming out is $6,400. Uh, but the smart controller I think would be a must also with the fire department or police department because they get to an emergency situation. Instead of pulling out their phone and, and trying to get a cord hooked up and opening an app, you just push two buttons and you're in the air. Um, chasing down the criminals or finding that fire. <laughs> um, so let's talk about what, the, what it's used for. It's got so many applications that it can be used for. Uh, firefighting, I mean, they put out a large grass fire. They can pop the bird up in the air and see if there's still any hot spots. I'm a roofing contractor. We use it for roofing inspections, uh, especially on a flat roof in a commercial system instance. Right after rain, uh, it has a leak. You can see the cold spot and see where the water's running so it can point out a leak very quickly. It can show heat loss on homes if they have you know, different rooms are hotter or colder than the other ones. Uh, the thermal imaging will show those hot spots. Um, here in the DFW area, a couple years ago, there was an escaped convict uh, who was very dangerous. He had stabbed a, stabbed a police officer in the neck. Uh, the p police officer was fine, but we couldn't find him for two days. So all the schools were shut down. Everything was in lockdown because we had a very dangerous criminal on the loose. Well, a thermal imaging drone found him in a boathouse out by the lake because it was the middle of winter and they knew, they knew someone shouldn't be coiled up in that boathouse. Uh, could you imagine a little girl getting lost in the woods? In the old days, you had to line a bunch of people and walk through the woods. Well, this thing could travel a lot of ground really quick. And you could see if it, the difference between if it was a deer or a dog or a little girl. You can see the image. Uh, it's that good. But the new one, the new advance coming out, guys, is gonna have the 640 by 512 camera. So the, what used to be able to cost uh, you know, thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars is about sixty-five hundred dollars, and it's much more convenient. Also, this battery is self-heating, a uh, lot which the other Mavericks don't have, so it can be flown in much cooler weather. So let's talk about some of the things the drone has that makes it different. It has this cover that covers this power port that's on the top of it that gives you three different options over here. You have a remote beacon that you can use at night, and it has to be visible from three miles. It's very, very bright, but I don't know why you would use this. If you're flying at night, you would want the lights, and then you could just use a little remote beacon in the back of it to stay within FAA regulations. And this light is really, really bright, but it burns down the battery. Uh, I think a much better option would be to go to these loom cubes. that are way brighter, and you're not burning down the battery of this, but that would be more setup time. So if you're in an emergency situation, uh, this light would be fine. It also has a speaker that's really, really loud. 
a lot louder than you think it would be for as light as it is and as small as it is. Um, if you go into the settings, it's got a lot of pre-recorded messages um, already in there. Uh, you can talk into a mic or you can set it to have your own recordings in there. So if you're doing search or rescue and you want to let people know that help is on the way, uh, this is another thing this drone can do. So it really makes a very useful tool for first responders. I can't even imagine a volunteer fire department not at least having this drone. And thanks so much for watching. If you got something out of this, please like and subscribe. I got a lot of really good content coming out with the Mavericks, the DJI, and a lot of other drones. Uh, see you in the next one.